ようこそいらっしゃいましたどうぞお上がりください Today I would like to invite you to a Japanese house where you will learn the greetings, Japanese culture and eight taboos or hatto that shouldn't be done in a Japanese house こんにちはようこそいらっしゃいましたどうぞお上がりください These are very formal phrases, so we will only use those when inviting an important person, or it will be used by Okami san, the landlady of a Japanese style inn. いらっしゃい。どうぞ。Is the casual way for when inviting our friends. いらっしゃる is the original verb, which means come, go, be there in 尊敬語 Honorific language. いらっしゃる。いらっしゃい。It can be a little bit difficult for non native Japanese speakers because there are Japanese R and double consonant small t and small letter ya here. To pronounce Japanese R, you want to tip your tongue to the upper gum ridge. な、な、な、いら、いら、いらっしゃい。To pronounce double consonant small t, you want to stop there. ら、ら、いら、いら、いらっしゃい。To pronounce small k a n a y a y u y o sound, there is a tiny i sound. Just before the small ya yu yo. Shi ya, shi ya, sha, sha. Shai, shai, i r a s h a i i r a s h a i This lesson is a summary of these small kana sounds. So please take out to learn more about these characteristic Japanese pronunciations. We often say, こんにちは。いらっしゃい。どうぞ。Sound perky, friendly. 日本の家を訪問するとき、まず最初に玄関で靴を脱ぎます。When you visit Japanese home, first thing you need to do is take off your shoes at 玄関。玄関 is the entrance space. 玄関ごはっと1靴を脱いだままの方向で置いておくのは無作法です。It is bad manners to leave your shoes in the same direction as you took them off. But in fact, many men do this way. The good way is to put your shoes in the opposite direction. Normally, many people, including me, do this way. But actually, this is not the proper way. For formal situations, for example, for tea ceremony or when you visit an important person's home, The correct etiquette is to take off your shoes while keeping the direction you entered from the entrance and turn your body, crouch down, and arrange your shoes. ごはっと二。訪問先の相手にお尻を向けるのは失礼です。It's rude to turn your butt to the person you are visiting. At this time, instead of turning your back completely to the person who invited you, turn diagonally and kneel. Then align the shoes and put them close to geta bako. Geta bako is a shoe box. Geta is Japanese classic sandals. This kanji hako is box. Geta bako. As you step into the main part of the house, You want to say, お邪魔します
お邪魔します」can be translated as「Thank you for inviting me」or「May I come in」「邪魔 means interrupt」「disturb」「邪魔する」is the verb「邪魔する」そう「お邪魔します」literally means「I'm going to interrupt you」And it expresses, I'm sorry for interrupting you, or I hope I'm not disturbing you. お邪魔します。Is the conversational way? Sounds perky and friendly. The more formal way is. 失礼します。失礼します literally means, excuse me, or sorry to bother you. 失礼 means impolite, rude. 失礼で R sound again. レレレレイレイ失礼失礼失礼します失礼します To practice more on Japanese R sound, which is the same pronunciation with L sound. Please check out this video lesson here. In a friendly situation, we would say, In a Japanese house, we often wear slippers. So if you are offered slippers, please tend into them. こちらへどうぞ。Now I will show you the main part of Japanese house. This is Washitsu. Washitsu is Japanese style room. This kanji wa represents Japanese. Shitsu represents room. Washitsu. ごはっとさんスリッパのままで和室に入るのは現金です。It is strictly forbidden to enter the Japanese style room with slippers.You must take off slippers when you enter 和室 .The proper way is the same way when you enter the main house. But actually, I've never done this in my life. We usually do this way. But in fact, it's not the proper way. ごはっと四。日本の建物や家の中で、敷居や畳のへりを踏むのは行儀が悪い行為です。In a Japanese building or house, it's bad manners to step on the threshold or edge of tatami. Shiki is threshold. Tatami is traditional Japanese floor mat made of soft rush grass. Tatami wa kuki seijo, kokin, hom, dannetsu. 湿度調節の効果や森林浴のようなリラックス効果もあります。タタミマット has air purification, antibacterial, heat retention, heat insulation, humidity control effect, and relaxing effect like forest bathing as well. Here are the reasons. Why it is said that you shouldn't step on shikii and tatami no heri, edge of tatami. Liyu ichi. The reason number one to keep shikii and edge of tatami in a good condition for a long time. During the Heian Jidai, Heian period, when tatami mats became common, Silk and linen fabrics were used for the edge of tatami mats, which were dyed with plants that are easily damaged and discoloration. 
and shiki is an important part that supports the house. If you step on it, it will be damaged quickly. Ryuni. The reason number two. To respect the owner of the house. In the Heian period, the edge of tatami mats were patterned according to their status. It was considered as rude to step on it as to step on the owner of the house. Also, it was considered as a boundary to separate the place where the high status people and the ordinary people sit. Even today, they represent the boundary between homeowners and visitors from outside. In addition, Shiki has a role to distinguish the boundary between the room and the corridor and the world from the house. Therefore, it is rude to step on that boundary unnecessarily. You san The reason number three. To protect yourself. The old edge of tatami, tatami no heri, were thicker than the current ones. Shiki also has a step, so you should not step on them to avoid tripping or falling. Also, Shikaku, the assassin, sneaked under the floor and checked if there was a person to aim at by the gap created between the Shiki and the edge of tatami mats and the light leaking from it. So if you step on them, you will inform them where you are. The space for decorating hanging scroll and flower arrangement is called tokonoma. This kanji yuka means floor, which is a place to sit or sleep. Toko also refers bed where you sleep. And this one ma represents room, space, gap, and a vowel. It is said that it is a sacred place where God comes down. It is taboo to go up or sit on tokonoma. The origin of Tokonoma is said to be higher place where high status people sit. Tokonoma is in the best room to entertain guests, which is called Kyakuma. Kyaku is guest. Remember, this kanji ma represents room. Kyakuma. Dozo. This side of the seat is called kamiza, where important person sits. This kanji ue is high, above, and this kanji suwaru is sit. Kamiza is located farthest from the entrance and closest to tokonoma, because as you've learned earlier, originally tokonoma was a place for the high status important people sit. And this side is called Shimoza. Shita is down below. Shimoza. So the homeowner offers the guest to sit on Kamiza. Around the Edo period, Tokonoma was built in ordinary people's houses to welcome guests with higher status, such as Lord. In recent years, even if there is a Japanese style room, Tokonoma is often omitted and it has become obsolete compared to before. These are Husuma. Usuma are sliding doors and partitions. 
They are made of wooden frame with thick and durable Japanese paper paste on it. They can be removed easily, so it's possible to turn two rooms into one large room. Now I will show you another room. こちらが茶の間です。うちの父です。Here is one note. When we introduce our family members, we wouldn't say, これが私のお父さんです。or これが私のお母さんです。The natural conversational ways are, うちの父です。うちの母です。I introduced how to call my mother, father, and other family members in native Japanese ways in this lesson. So please check out this video link here. こんにちは、お邪魔してます。ああ、いらっしゃい。When you meet the family of the home during your visit, お邪魔しています is the common expression. Remember, 邪魔 means disturb, interrupt. It's the similar expression to お邪魔します when you enter the house. Something しますす indicates I'm going to do something. So, お邪魔します indicates I'm going to enter your home. Something しています indicates I'm doing something right now. So, お邪魔しています indicates I'm visiting your home right now. In a daily situation, we usually say, お邪魔してます Skip it. こんにちは、お邪魔してます。Or, こんにちは、お邪魔してます。Sounds perky, friendly. Chanoma literally means tea room. Cha is tea, but usually we call it ocha. And this kanji ma represents room. Remember, you've learned it earlier in tokonoma. Another word is ima. Ima is living room, family room. Ima. But, ima is now. Ima. Different intonation. Ima. 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 This is kotatsu. Kotatsu is a table with an electric heater attached to the underside of the table. But originally, it was started by building wooden frame on the hearth, irori, and putting a cover on it. Irori is a hearth sunk in the floor without chimney. These are shouji. Shouji are sliding screens made of wooden frames and thin Japanese papers. They're very fragile, easy to get damaged. ごはっとろく。しょうじはとても破れやすいので、指でつつかないでください。しょうじは very easy to tear, so please do not poke them with your finger. And they are called yuki ni しょうじ。Yuki is snow. And miru means see, view. Hea ni inagara ni ste, soto ni tsumoru yuki o nagameru koto ga dekita koto kara, kuno nagatske rare te imas. The name comes from the fact that you could see the snow that piled up outside while you were in the room. こちらがうちの庭です。This is our yard. Niwa is yard, garden. Niwa. All the flower arrangements in this video I made for today are from our yard. Keien is also garden, but Keien refers elaborate garden. Nihon Teien is traditional Japanese garden. In another video, I introduced 
the Adachi Museum of Art, which is said to be the number one Japanese garden. So please check out to learn more about the Nihon Teien and Japanese culture tradition. Kakuma and Ima both can be also used as Shin Shitsu. Shin Shitsu is sleeping room. This kanji neru means sleep, lie down. And again, Shitsu represents room. Shin Shitsu. There, Futom. Futom is bedding, but we pronounce it as H U. Futom. Normally, during the daytime, futon should be put in oshire. Oshire is storage space. Osu means push. Ireru means put in. Oshire literally means pushing something into. And at night, we set futon on tatami. Now I will introduce Japanese restroom. This is a traditional Japanese style toilet, which is called Washiki Toire. We usually call restroom Toire in Japanese. The polite way is Ote Arai. Ote Arai literally means washing hands. Te is hand. Arau means wash. The blunt way is Benjo. But women don't use the word usually. But actually, nowadays, the Western style is more common. Even electronic toilet, Woshudetto, is very common in Japan. In the Japanese restroom, there are another pair of slippers, so you must change into them when you use the restroom. Gohatto nana. Toire no slippa wo haite. トイレの外に出ないでください。Do not go out of the restroom with those slippers on. ごはっと8。言うまでもなく絶対スリッパのままで家の外に出ないでください。Needless to say, never go outside of the house with the slippers on. Lastly, when you leave the house. Ojamashimashita is the common phrase. Again, similar expression to Ojamashimas and Ojamashiteimas. Something shimashita means I did something. So Ojamashimashita literally means I'm sorry that I disturbed you. And it indicates thank you for having me. We often say, Sounds perky, friendly. The proper expressions are, Shitsureitashimas is the formal way to say excuse myself now. So, shitsureishimasu and shitsureitashimasu are can be used both when entering the house and leaving the house. Shitsureitashimasu is more formal way. I hope you enjoyed Japanese house tour today. And it will help you when you have the opportunity to visit Japanese house. Or Ryokan Japanese style hotel, or Ryotei traditional Japanese restaurant. If you like this lesson, please like this video and be sure to subscribe and hit the notification so you will not miss my future lessons. Thank you for watching on Japanese Conversation with Terumi. See you soon. Sayonara.